I'm Tanya. And I'm Gabe. And together we're Breaking Home Base RV. same clothes we were when we talked about our sofas. <laughs> we don't change very often. <laughs> we live the minimalistic style, I guess. No, really. We just thought we'd go ahead and while we're talking about how we changed out our sofa, talk about how we changed also our captain's chairs. Our captain's chairs were started out a little worse for the wear than the sofa, but ended up the sofa after it was covered for a while got worse but there's not a lot of videos out on reviews for captain chair replacement i also found that there's not a lot of options out there for captain's chairs for our class a motorhomes so there's been a problem with the flex steel furniture over a small span of years that it just cracked and fell apart um, in RVs. Yeah, the luxury RVs actually contracted a lot of their furniture sales with a flex steel and they used a blended polyurethane bonded faux leather. That's a whole mouthful to say it was absolute crap. Um, and the market I think has been flooded with replacement and between Corona and the decrease in the workforce we haven't been able to have a lot of success in finding uh, places that are selling and have in stock those captain's chairs so we did end up finding um, chairs that we thought would work really well for us and they were out of stock for a long time and just on a fluke I got online and they were in stock there at Rec Pro. So we were able to put in our order for our sofas and our sofa and our captain's chairs all at the same time, which was fantastic. All right, so our new captain's chairs arrived today and let's go take a look at how they're packaged. They came packaged really well. As you can see, they are a very beautiful cream color. This is an ultra leather. Um, they are by Rec Pro. They give you your number just in case they came in damaged or there's any issues. Um, they've done a great job with shipping so far. So Gabe, our chairs that we removed were electric, right? Yeah, they were electric and they had a, a power module underneath that allowed them to slide forward and backward. They could go up and down, they could tilt, you know, front or back as well. Um, and that was all something that I just wasn't sure how I was going to mount that onto our new chairs. Mm -hmm. They do sell the bases. Um, we elected to see if they would fit first our existing pedestals and then just leave the electronics is that how that went yeah and then we thought if there was no way to make the old electronics work we would just order new bases <laughs> for it yeah the, their shipping really was good aside from the issue with a snowstorm um, and the delay in shipment of our pieces um, we knew that that wasn't a, you know, that wasn't anybody's fault. They really were good with shipping. I removed the old captain's chairs before the delivery of the new chairs. So to get started, I measured the mounting holes in my pedestals and on the new chairs. The manual slides didn't match up, but the new chair brackets under the manual slides matched perfectly. I removed the manual slides by loosening the bolts. If you would like to know the exact measurements or have other questions about the installation details, please leave a comment below. Yeah, 
So one thing that helps is leaving the shrink wrap on so your little skirt doesn't get in the way. How much would you say that chair weighs to pick up? It's not that bad. So we do have a discount code for you. It's a 5% savings off your total order. And boy, we used another code from another YouTuber and it really gave us a significant savings. It is BHBRV4U, the letter U. We cannot describe how soft, we've heard people describe this as buttery soft fabric, this um, ultra leather that they put on it, on the seat, but it is like seriously buttery soft. We're also concerned about the contrast in color between the linen theater seating we chose, which is in the color oatmeal, and the color of the seat that was called birch. I think the contrast, I mean, they, they're in the same family of cream. We'll see how clean we can keep this. And update everybody. So you're just tightening down those bolts. There's yeah. four bolts, right? That's it. Four 13 millimeter bolts. You just need a wrench and a socket mm. or two wrenches or whatever. And you really don't, I mean, you absolutely don't have to remove any of the components of your mm. pedestal. Yeah, we never touched the pedestal. We never took that off or anything. It was just unbolting it, removing and, the other one, and that and was it. The bolts line up perfectly between this pedestal and the supports on the seat. Now, the bolts on the manual slides that I took up would not have lined up. They were a half inch off um, in one direction. Okay, Gabe. So now it's time for a really honest review. Um, you know, we're not sponsored by Rec Pro at all. We've got two new captain's chairs and a new 70 inch theater seating setup. So on the captain's chairs, what would you say pros about the captain's chairs? First off, the ultra leather is extremely soft. It feels mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. It's buttery. It is, it's, mm -hmm. it's soft and to the touch. Um, but the padding under it is quite firm, so it, it feels mm -hmm. very supportive, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. I did feel like maybe because it wasn't broken in, we don't, I mean, we use them as chairs. We turn our seats around and use them as chairs as well, but not very often. We sit in the theater seating by far more, so um, I felt like maybe they weren't broken in and I needed to get up and stretch my legs every now and then. Um, and these chairs don't have leg rests. I think that that's important to note. I wouldn't consider that a pro or a con. That's just what we went with. Mm -hmm. I do think that a lumbar pillow is pretty necessary with these. Both of us on the trip that we took we're more comfortable having the lumbar pillow under our lower back. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a pro that we were able to keep our electronics um, sliding your seat forward and backward and tilting forward and backward, I think is really important in a chair just to be comfortable when you're on a long ride. Um, but the controls, I used Velcro, the, the 3M Velcro, to Velcro under the seats to hold those controllers in place. And they both came unstuck and 
they're still flopping on the floor. <laughs> I'm not quite brave enough to cut the fabric to yeah. fit those in and make them permanent just yet. Yeah, our original seats had a bracket underneath and the leather was cut out in a rectangle with all the controls mounted on the side of the seat. These don't have that, of course. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I don't want to cut the leather to mount it. So mm -hmm. having it mounted just under the dust ruffle, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. I'm just having them mounted just under there and having to reach on there to get the little joystick that controls the seats really hasn't been bad at all. It really is not that big of a deal. No. And the seat belts, they fit and work perfectly together um, because those were the seat belts mounted on our pedestal. Yep, they were already. And then on the wall. We, yeah, we didn't have to remove any No seat issues belts. there. Um, what do you think of the arms that come up and down and have the controllers under them? Did they did that work for you? I think when they're in the up position and you can see the adjuster on the bottom, mm -hmm. it looks a little weird. Um, you just see a, there's just a big roller on the bottom that you can roll forward and back um, that adjusts the height of the arm for how high you want it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see that if they're in the up position, but they're really nice because you can really finely tune exactly where you want the armrest for how high your arm should rest on it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, my biggest concern really was how light this leather is. It looks almost like vanilla ice cream. It is that light. It is, it is not a true beige. Um, birch yep. is the color, the name of the color, but I would say this birch is more like a winter white. It's like a French vanilla. There's a, <laughs> there's a hint of beige there, but it's mostly white. Yeah, and I wouldn't say that it's a yellowy uh, beige or white either. It, it truly is more of a neutral beige, which is really nice because it does work really well with that oatmeal color that we chose for our sofa. Now, as far as um, the leather getting dirty, I don't see any distress from the times the dogs have randomly jumped up in the chair. No scratches or distress. Um, there was a little bit of dirt from a paw print. But that was a really dirty paw too. <laughs> it was, but, but it, it, cleaned right up. it cleaned right up with a little bit of, actually I just used water. It really wasn't that bad. So we'll see how long the, these last. God, I hope they last forever. It was a little more expensive. I'll look on my invoice here. Um, it was just a little over $2,000. Of course, we had the discount um, on our on our order, our final order. And our sofa was... Yeah, just over 1200 so just over 1200 so it was a little over three grand to have everything delivered here to the lot um, which is a little pricey i think for a couple of chairs and a love seat size sofa but i think that we've got the peace of mind that we've got our pros of having it bolted appropriately and that we can have our our seat our seat belts and we also don't have to have a cover with slip covers because it's falling apart. Right, and that looked horrible. We hope this was helpful for you today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see more like it. And we'll see you next time on the road. Bye.